they did it. Treyarch's actually listening and they finally did it. You can see they trimmed some of the bushes on Cartel, but did they trim enough? You'll have to let me know what you think once we take a look at the eight other side-by-side -side comparisons I have for you. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Sinister Skater. Welcome to the channel. I tend to stray away from patch notes videos, but there's some major stuff that I think people will be interested in the season two update. We got, of course, map changes. We have challenges to unlock new weapons, score streak adjustments, a shot tracker feature that's in the combat record now, and a few other things worth mentioning. But of course, we're going to start off with the map changes here. Uh, starting with Moscow, you can see they pretty much cropped the map and removed the extra space that wasn't used, which is primarily in the spawns. The seaside trim is actually really impactful for gameplay. It greatly reduces the area that you have to be aware of when you're approaching the seaside from the middle of the map. Some changes were made to Crossroads Strike to improve visibility and address some unintended sight lines. You'll notice on the A flag side, they removed some planks on that little head glitch area and extended the wall in the back. The extended wall shrinks the play area of the map just a little tiny bit, but more importantly, it lightens up that background that used to be dark and adds some contrast and visibility to the map. You'll also notice that they added some snow on the rock in the back to help stop enemies from blending in as well. On the C side of the map, they also shortened the sandbags and removed like the vehicles and all the clutter under that tent, which was a hard point zone before. That hard point zone has actually been moved to the other side of the map uh, to spice things up a little bit in this update. On raid, you can now mantle on top of the van that's inside that garage. You weren't able to do this before the season two update. And this is actually something you should be aware of, especially if you play a hard point, because this introduces some new lines of sight. If you're crouched on top of the van or laying down on top of the van to look down the hall, you can even crouch on the hood of the van and use that as cover from people that are approaching from the left side. That brings us to Cartel, where they trimmed a bunch of bushes on the map in order to improve visibility and make engagements on this map more predictable, so you're not getting surprised from people camping in the bushes, which I'm kind of guilty of doing myself. They didn't trim all of the bushes, they only trimmed some of the bushes. The most notable changes are towards the hangar and towards the middle of the map. You'll notice those things are at least half the height of what they were before. The hill that's in the middle of the map, that still has some pretty high bushes on it. And it's actually pretty obstructive. But that middle of the map, uh, where a lot of the action happens, is much easier to see. On the window side of the map, with all those bushes over there, some of those bushes have been trimmed in half. Some of them are long. You can still crouch and hide in a lot of them, which is something I suggested that you do to get uh, cover kills in that cover kill video I posted a few weeks ago. So still be cautious of some bush campers in that area. So you have to let me know what you guys think. Are these changes good enough or would you like to see some more improvements on Cartel? Let me know down below in the comments. The last map change we have is on Satellite. They closed some gaps in cover that could be shot through in the center of the map uh, in that B flag area, which should improve your chances of pushing and taking that flag from people that just have a hold on the middle of the map there. Some other changes you should know about in Season 2 is that there are now challenges to unlock the Groza and the MAC-10 if you happen to miss unlocking those in the Season 1 Battle Pass. And alongside those is a new unlock challenge to unlock the new Machete melee weapon, which is one of three new melee weapons coming at the launch of Season 2. They also increase the range for the Point Blank Kill camo challenges, which is great to hear. A lot of people have been struggling with those. Before, you had to be within like knifing range, so now you should be able to be within like a couple feet of someone to get a point blank kill and if you are having trouble getting point blank kills i do have a video on my channel where i give you some tips to get those a lot easier Several changes have been made to score streaks in multiplayer. First things first, they added a brand new score streak. The Death Machine is now available at 2200 score, which slots it between the Care Package and the Air Patrol in Napalm Strike, which is really cheap for how good of a score streak this is because the Death Machine is similar to the War Machine in that you get score for each kill that you get with that score streak weapon, which is a strategy a lot of people use to get higher score streaks because getting kills with score streak weapons are of course easier than with normal weapons and the death machine is like half the score of the war machine so we're going to see if that's going to stay as is. it seems really powerful at the 2200 score spot 
The air patrol has been reduced from 2,700 to 2,400 score. The attack helicopter reduced from 5,000 to 4,500 score. And then the VTOL escort reduced from 7,000 to 6,500 score. And the counter spy plane has been increased from 1,200 to 1,400 score. And they increase the cooldown from 60 seconds to 90 seconds. I guess they thought counter spy planes were too prevalent in multiplayer. And actually, now that I think about it, counter spy planes were up quite a lot. I rock spy craft on a lot of my classes because I just hated losing my radar. So that's actually a really good change that I'm glad to see. If you're into league play, you may have noticed that the score streaks have been reduced to the artillery barrage and the cruise missile. Those are the only two score streaks that are available in league play from here on out. Along with this change, they reduced the artillery to 1600 score, was 3000 before, and the cruise missile has been reduced to 2000 score. It was 3500 score before. The reason for making these score streaks easier to get is because score will now reset when you die in league play, similar to older Call of Duties. If you have 600 score and then you die it won't carry over into your next life like it does in normal multiplayer now it resets on death so if you want score streaks in league play you have to stay alive and rack up a lot of kill streaks to get those if you're a hardcore player you may be glad to hear that the trophy system's max player damage has now been reduced to 10 which means it won't kill you in hardcore that was a really annoying thing that happened before. Even in a regular multiplayer, uh, the score, uh, the trophy systems in this game, the range is so long. You'll throw a uh, nade on Nuketown over on one side of the map and the trophy will intercept it from the other side of the map and damage you in between. So that's a great change for damage, but I would really like to see the trophy systems range reduce in the future because I think it's just crazy. You guys will have to let me know what you think down below in the comments. Last thing before we wrap this video up is the new shot track stat in the combat record which you can find on the weapon stats in the bottom right hand corner this tracks your weapons stats starting in the season 2 update it'll show you how many times in the percentage of your shots that hit the head or the arm the body whatever multipliers that they track in the game it also shows the head and body multipliers per weapon which weren't available to see in the game before you can see which weapons do more damage if you hit headshots this is really helpful for sniper rifles so you can see where that like one hit hit kill zone is for each different weapon. So that's all the major stuff you need to know from the Season 2 patch notes. I'd say I covered everything that you need to know about Cold War multiplayer. There are a lot of cool new things in zombies. Not just a ton of bug fixes to stabilize the mess, but new Tier 4 and Tier 5 upgrades for all the weapons and perks and new field upgrades, ammo mods. They reduced the delay between switching fire modes on the Ray K. There's a lot of zombie stuff, but don't worry if you're a zombies fan, I will be covering that in a separate video coming soon, along with several other season two launch content and videos throughout the remainder of the season. So if you're into Cold War, if any of that sounds great, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about the patch notes down below in the comments. Was this enough for you? Are you happy with them? Or is there something that you would like to see fixed in the game? If so, let us know down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you'd like to help support the channel directly, you can check out some of the links down below in the description. Peace.